Hey refreshers, Nicole Lauren, Home Refresh and Style. So you've caught me again. I am inside a closet party where you can usually find me. If you don't already like and subscribe to my page, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell so you guys never miss a beat or a basket or a closet party and some organizing tips. Today I'm gonna go over with you the top three items that can be universal. You can pick out whatever style you like. I will link below the ones that we used for this closet. But the top three items that you're gonna need when you're redoing your closet space. So every closet's different, right? You always see me in all these different closets. This one is huge, right? So we have a rack behind me over here. We have a rack over here. And then at the bottom, you can kind of see that she's just got this small shoe organizer, some shoes laid here. And then this is usually what the top shelf happens, right? It just becomes a random ground for stuff, stuff everywhere. Over here, she's got the same thing going on. And Nicole's favorite, plastic hangers. There's usually all mixed match colors. There's usually wire hangers. So we're gonna go over the top three things that you guys need to order for your closet to make it refreshed, organized, and be able to keep the system happening so you can do happy dances in your closet all the time. So number one on the list, you guys know it. You should literally be screaming it as soon as I turn my camera on, you should know what it is because you know your girl hates these hangers. Like not only are they like not matching, but they're not functional. And here's the thing is I don't just not like them because they're plastic and they don't match. Those, those are true statements, but they also have no sturdiness to keep your clothes on there. If you have plastic hangers and, and these real, these plastic ones, and what are these called? Like the wired ones and all these, they're going to slide right off. Your clothes are not going to stay on those hangers. So I am going to recommend to get velvet hangers. This client wanted to do gray. They come in all different colors. We can do black. As long as they all match, you want to have a universal look because when you organize your stuff, you don't want it to be all mixed matched. Also find the ones that have these little grooves on here because that's gonna give you the opportunity to put those tanks that could slide off on here and it's gonna have an organized look. Side note, make sure you pay attention to the um, the wire hooky things here because the last closet I did, I didn't realize they came in black and they came in silver. So you know that's gonna drive your girl crazy. So make sure you order some hangers. I'll link these ones below so you actually can have a space you're proud of because we're gonna take all this out. We're gonna categorize it. We're gonna declutter it. We're gonna organize it. You don't wanna have all mixed match hangers. You are worthy of those velvet hangers. Next on the list is gonna be some kind of basket or bin for the top shelves. So this client already has these for this side to save time and to save money, she wants to keep those. So if you already have some baskets around your house that you're not using or you don't think are being used efficiently, you're gonna wanna empty those baskets and give yourself some baskets for those top rocks. There should be no open product on those shelves. My tip is to have nothing but baskets and to even label them so you know what's up there. So this one we used, I love to use these cloth ones in closets. This one has a handle. You can either put it this way or this way. And then it's got the lid. I love the lid ones in the closets, but we also can do some open ones like she's got over here. Another style you can do, let me find them, is something like these. So these ones are a little bit lower. Whoa, tight squeeze. These ones are a little bit lower. These can be labeled, and again, you can either do it this way or this way, but you wanna make sure you have some bins and baskets for the top shelves of your closet, especially if you have this, if you don't have a remodeled, um, re refurnished, refurnished? Renovated? Renovated. Renovated closet space, because those top racks are just gonna be a home for clutter. You wanna have a basket and bin, and then we can actually take everything out and see what's gonna go back that's gonna function for your space. You can always find me on the floor in the closet too when we're going through the shoes. So we are gonna declutter some of these shoes. She thinks she's gonna keep all of them, but we all know when you tell Nicole that what happens. So she's got this super small cubby. I do like this for shoes, opposed to like the racks sometimes, especially if you have a lot because they fit more, but this one's too small. So we actually ordered a shoe rack that I'm gonna show you in a minute. And I absolutely love the idea of this here. She's got this in the corner too, but she does not want this here anymore. So I've used these in many closets. So this is another option for your shoe rack. There's so many different options out there. There's racks, there's wall units, there's one, things that go behind the door. Does she have it? No, there's things that go behind the door. So there's all different kinds of things that we can use for your shoes. I'm gonna link below some of my top favorites, 
but you want to make sure you have the hangers you want to velvet you want to make sure you have the baskets any kind you want to make sure you have a shoe rack those are kind of your top three things that you want for success to set up your closet so i'm going to show you a couple more things in this closet and then i'm going to show you some before and afters and i want you guys to click the links below and order stuff if you are refreshing your own space three things set yourself up for closet success you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna share a bonus secret when it comes to folding your drawers, what you need to put inside and how to fold them efficiently. Another item that I do suggest you get, if you are fluctuating in between sizes in your closet, so a lot of times when we're going through your closets, you're like, well, Nicole, I might fit in this super cute dress when I lose 10 pounds. I, okay, I don't love the idea of holding on to clothes that you wanna someday fit in because I don't think that it makes you happy. I think it puts a lot of pressure on yourself. I think you should get rid of those items because you walk in this closet and it should be like a party and you love everybody there, okay? You're not gonna love something you don't fit into. But if you are on a regimen, if you are on a plan, if you have a goal in mind and you were actually taking steps to achieve those goals, not just like I'll fit into that if I lose 10 pounds and I'm not doing anything to lose 10 pounds. If you are actively working on something to get you to that goal, get yourself a bin okay and it's gonna be a bin of clothes so get yourself a bin like this it could be a plastic bin it could be a colored bin uh we're not keeping this here she actually just had this and that's not totally what's in it at all we're gonna go through that but have yourself a bin that you can actually put some stuff in there that you are going to fit into if you hit that goal weight and here's the deal guys it's not gonna be four bins I do not support that decision. It's got to be one bin because when you go and you lose that 10 pounds, you are going to gonna you're going to go want to buy some new super cute clothes. So if you have those items that you don't want to get rid of that you think are super cute and those are classic statement items, transitional pieces that you want to keep, find a bin, medium size. You can keep those babies as your motivation. Don't have more than one bin. And if you don't have a plan of action to lose that weight, I don't even support the bin. And we're actually working on this closet right now. She has no idea what's in here. And I had to move this basket and I had to move this basket in order to get to that basket. So if you've got that much stuff, she's not, she wouldn't even know if I took all of this right now. Like she would not know. She doesn't even know what's in here. I said, what is this? She has no idea. So guys, <laughs> make sure you have the proper tools when organizing your closet. That's why I say get the stuff for the top it's shoes on the bottom and like none of this stuff needs to be stored under here. None of it, it's gotta go. So this is the huge pile that was just in these bins and guess what, all of it's gone. She doesn't even know what's in there, it's gone. Donate. Okay, so I'm doing a little update here. We are mid closet party and we have gotten rid of so much stuff. In her home assessment, she definitely said, I don't have that much to get rid of, I already got rid of it. And I said, do you think we can go through the shoes? Not really. We have so many bags out here. Trash bags full of donations. What do you think about all the stuff you've gotten rid of? Can Amazing. you believe it? <laughs> Can't believe it. She gets to go shopping. of these wire closets are literally a recipe that is going to keep your stuff in order and organized and look cute in the process. We also have our category color-coded clothes on velvet hangers because you guys are worthy of those velvet hangers. So when it comes to your shoes, you're gonna wanna make sure you have some kind of system for shoes. So she has this cubby behind me, which we're gonna keep for her flip-flops. And then we also got two of these racks. I do, let's see if you can see it. I do love these racks. Um, we're gonna put these together on this wall so this stuff's gonna move out and this is great storage and it's gonna go right against the wall because before she had that big, tall organizer, you want it to save space and you want them to be accessible. And I love that these have the ridges so if you have heels, they're actually gonna go in there so they don't fall off. organizers look at how this came out these actually look like a, a unit that came like this and we were actually just using her cube unit so 
These we were actually able to store here. She had a lot of shoes, so we were able to use the floor as a bottom shelf, and then we put her flats and flip-flops here, and then we have them here. So it literally looks like a wall of shoes, if you remember that craziness that was happening before. So this is why it is so important. Get those baskets that are gonna be up here, and then you're gonna get your matching hangers, and then you're gonna store those shoes. So when it comes to folding your clothes, most of you have all of your drawers just either jumbled mess or all of your stuff is laying on top of each other, which doesn't give you a good selection. You can't see what you have because everything's gonna be on the bottom. So when it comes to organizing your drawers, we're gonna want everything standing up so you can see them. So my trick to that is to make sure you fold a certain way so they all look universal. When it comes to pants, we've got our regular pants, drawstrings go in, you're gonna fold them once, and then you're gonna fold them over again, and this is how they're gonna go. You're gonna have your smooth circled side, it's gonna be on the top for your selection. Then the same thing with your tops. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops, any of it. You're gonna fold the sleeves in, put it down, so it's gonna look like this, and then you're gonna fold it in half, and then your set is going to look like this in your drawer. And I will show you the finished result in our drawers. How many of your drawers look like this? All right, we found a tank top. I'm gonna show you how, because those are folded a little bit differently. So the tank tops, you always wanna tuck in the sleeves first. This goes for tanks, Razorback spaghetti straps. So tuck in your tank like this so it has a straight line at the top. Fold in your sides, and same thing. You're gonna go down, and it's gonna look like a square. If you have smaller, thinner drawers that aren't as deep, you can fold them a second time so they're gonna look like this. So you're either gonna have a rectangle or you're either gonna have a square. And you're gonna be able to see that once we go and put that in your room. Now I bring to you what your drawers should look like. So they're not a jambled mess like they were before. Now you can see everything in your drawer and these are also color coded. So they are following the Roy G. Biv color of the rainbows. So you can see everything that is in here. Same with our other drawer here. These are her lighter PJs. And as you can see, she's got room to grow. These are her fuzzy, more heavier ones for the winter. And then she's also got room to grow in here. I just asked my client if these were all she had and she said, oh no, there's more. She's just throwing them all out of the drawer. We have to go through, we have to declutter the leggings. We found the messy legging drawer. I bring to you the legging drawer. Now you can see everything you have. You don't have to move all those leggings around to find your super cute leggings. There's nothing more satisfying to me than folding all of these. Look at how nice these all look. When you fold them properly, they're gonna go in the drawer. I could literally just do this all day long. This is what you guys waited for. If you are doing your drawers and you folded all of your stuff like I've taught you in your drawers, these are about to go in the drawers, you're gonna wanna get one of these organizers. So socks always end up all thrown in the drawers, all jumbled. You're gonna wanna get some dividers like this, okay? And you're gonna fit them right in your drawer. They even have the ones that have the different departments. So you're gonna wanna make sure your drawers are set up for success. The two ways to do that is to get your organizers like these and then to make sure you're folding your stuff the same way so you can see everything when you're getting ready to get dressed. Fun fact about Nicole, I had years of experience at Victoria's Secret. So if your bras are all jambled like this, I'm gonna teach you how to have Victoria's Secret drawers. So fun little fact about Nicole, I'm always talking about, ask me questions, ask me questions. I had a question on one of my other videos the other day and you guys were like, so what is your favorite look? Like, do you love like sweaters? Do you love dresses? Do you love leggings? Like, what is your favorite look? I have many different looks. So probably my number one favorite is I love me some comfy leggings and I love a tank. I love super casual hair up in a messy bun with my headband and some earrings. Always lipstick, even when you're casual. Never can forget the lipstick. So that's probably my number one go-to look, especially when I'm working, I'm on the go, I'm on my kids' sports field, back and forth, hot mess, crazy mom life, right? 
but I do love me a dress. Like I love a hot dress, some heels. I love to go out, definitely crack out the red or hot pink lipsticks for those. Definitely the brighter lipsticks for the nights out, but I definitely love those two looks. I'm always either in leggings or a dress. You sometimes shorts, sometimes jeans, but I'm either a leggings or a dress. So there's not usually a whole lot in between. So I love that. And I also love fuzzy sweaters. So she has so many in the closet. I love fuzzy sweaters and sweaters, sweaters. And I love that you can dress those up and down. Heels with leggings and a sweater can totally dress your outfit up. So those are what I actually love. Those are my two favorites. So you can always catch me in some leggings or a dress, maybe the in-betweens, but that's what I love to wear. Drop in the comments what your favorite thing to wear is. Are you more of a leggings girl, a dress girl, jeans? I know a lot of people wear jeans a lot, but they're just uncomfortable for me. Jean shorts in the summer I can do. But what is your favorite thing to wear when you have to go on the daily? I hope that you guys had oh so much fun. I hope you learned about what simple things to get to make your closet set up for success and easy to keep up with it. You've got your baskets, you've got your hangers, and we've got our shoe organizers. It's literally a recipe for a closet success every single time. We have our color-coded, categorized closet, and it is literally a party up in here. If you would like to get more information, more tips and tricks, you can always check me out on Facebook and Instagram. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that red subscribe button, ring the bell so you guys never miss a beat or a basket or all the essentials for your closet party, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Those of you that stayed till the very end, you get to know a fun fact about your girl, Nicole. So I get asked all the time, what is my favorite spot of the house to organize? I actually have two. So first, my number one area that I actually love to organize is the pantry. It gives such a dramatic before and after and putting systems in place makes such a difference. My second is the closet. There's something about doing a closet party. There's something about your clothes, right? Like we want to walk in to our closet. We want to love everything here. We want to value our stuff. We want it to look super cute and organized. You want to go in your closet and it feel like that little boutique. You want everything that you touch, everything that you have to have that special meaning to know you fit into it. It looks super cute. You keep those jeans that make your butt look good, right? Am I right? Like you're not going to keep the jeans that don't. You want to make sure that you value your stuff. So I just love creating those systems. And I actually purge my stuff like every month. No joke. Everyone's like, how often do you go through all your clothes, Nicole? And I literally do it once a month because I like to rotate my stuff. I find stuff on sale so I don't feel guilty about getting rid of the stuff and bringing in new. And I do follow my number one rule. You guys, if you haven't heard it yet, if you bring an item in, you got to let an item go. So if you bring a tank top in, one's got to go. It's going to be able to maintain your little boutique shop and it's going to make sure that you always value and keep track of what you have. So I will see you guys next time. And if you have a question that you would like to ask me, be sure you drop it in the comments and I'll try to answer it in one of my future videos. Bye guys.